Okay guys, this is very small hauls and really just burning um, registry rewards from Walgreens and um, up rewards from um, Rite Aid as well as a few of the ECBs from CBS. And I'm not going to explain all of it. I mean, CBS was mainly, I had a couple of dollars to burn. I bought a lot more of the freaking candy that I probably shouldn't have, and I say that after I, before I show you what I actually, um, <laughs> anyways, I got more chocolate. Um, no, I'm not going to eat all this. I'll, you know, give it out to the neighborhood kids or donate it or something, but anyways, some of it I'll use in baking. So anyways, I had to burn some rewards, and what does it mean to burn rewards it means that they were going to expire at midnight tonight I didn't want them to expire um, I wanted to use them and you should always you know try to use them otherwise you're just trashing money because the only one store that I know of that will take expired um, coupons is CVS and uh, Walgreens and Rite Aid will not okay so I had to get rid of them today and I had um, like $11 for Walgreens and I had a $10 ECB not ECB a $10 um, up reward from Rite Aid and I had a couple of dollars in um, ECBs. The the one or two dollars I had, I just bought um, more Easter candy, which was on sale for ten to fifteen cents each. Um, so I went to Walgreens after CVS uh, to you know continue to burn up my rewards. Oh wait a minute, before I go on, um, I found two of these. One of them's already disappeared. It's the Pro, uh, Pro Glide. They were on sale for two dollars and forty nine cents. We have a two dollar off of one coupon, which just came out uh, this past week. So this is four eleven. So it came out uh, this past Sunday, and so these ended up being forty nine cents. My store only had two, and I did buy both of them. Okay. Just to put that through. Also, I bought the whisk, which was $0.99 cents after the Redbox coupon. They are not here because I already gave them away. So they're not here. So anyway, so I went to Walgreens. And, and Walgreens will be part of my rant. Well, maybe I should do CVS first then. Um, CVS, I had a, the $10. Really didn't want to go through the hassle, you know, of trying to roll... Um, the up reward into other things that would provide an up reward. So I just got simply things that I wanted. So I did buy these uh, candies. They were a dollar each. This one happens to be my favorite, which is the hazelnut um, chocolates. And then I got one uh, crispy because one of the boys likes that. And I got the cashew and the almonds that are chocolate coated for the same reason as the crispy. Which is that I know that they would um, like those. Okay. And then also at um, Rite Aid I got uh, some peach preserves. They were a dollar. The expiration date is April 2004. I'm using this for dinner tonight. Um, we're going to have chicken and I'm going to baste it with some of these um, or some of this uh, peach preserves. And I also got uh, three things of the bowls, a dollar each. Because um, I needed um, cereal bowls because everything's still in the garage. Not everything. A lot of stuff is still in the garage, including the bowls. So, um, I just went ahead and bought some temporary plastic ones, you know. The subtotal for all that I got from Rite Aid was zero. Okay, because it was a dollar each and I bought ten items. Um, so that was zero. So then at CVS, 
Um, they only had one of the Canadian farms. It did have a Peely on it for two boxes. They did not have two boxes, and I know you didn't. You don't get the reward uh, points that are attached. Uh, you have to buy two. No, they didn't have two, so I just bought the one to try it. It was a dollar ninety-nine. Um, Honey Nut Cheerios, um, two boxes of those, dollar ninety-nine, and the peanut butter Cheerios also a dollar ninety-nine. Also, I bought one of the chocolate muffins and one of the streusels, and I bought some Hawaiian rolls to go uh, with dinner tonight with the chicken. And so, yeah, I wanted this. So, anyways, and the subtotal, see, this is where the rant's going to begin because the guy that checked me out was an older gentleman, like 65, maybe 70. Um, so he, he was having kind of a hard time with the register, and uh, evidently my register rewards had a pink or red line uh, on them from being the end of the roll of paper that was printing the register reward. And so anyways, the last $2 register reward, um, he couldn't get to go through because... I was off by like two cents with uh, the total. So I ended up paying it in the end. Um, I paid a dollar ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, something like that, less than two dollars. Um, and then ended up buying the skinny cows, which are thirty nine cents each, but you buy four, you get. Uh, 50 cents back in points and I did that just to use up that two dollars and actually um, because it was two dollars I actually ended up getting six yeah six of um, these the Nestle I guess the Nestle was included I got the 50 cents on the points so 500 points so that used up um, the two dollar with the zero subtotal. Um, but what really got me, and this is the rant part, was that um, the gentleman was trying to help me and he called the manager because the last uh, register reward would not go through. And she actually said in front of everyone behind me, as well as with this cashier, he, she walked over, and the first thing out of her mouth was, I don't like checking her out, and I avoid doing it whenever possible. And I, I was looking around like, I know she ain't talking to me. And she was. And I said, I'm sorry, did I do something to offend you? Because, you know, I'd never really spoken to her um, I've seen her around the store, and she's been a cashier that I've gone through before. And she said, um, well, you're nothing but a headache because you use coupons and, you know, the register locks up and then I have to fix whatever the problem is. So I really just don't like dealing with you. And I'm still, like, standing there looking around like, 